What is your, okay, put your corporate leadership hat on real quick. What would you say makes for a great leader? What are some of those key, maybe top principles that you think of as you look at the last 20 plus years of building your company and working with leaders and meeting with leaders and seeing leaders come and go within your company? What do you see as maybe some core patterns of effective leadership? You already know. A passion and my mission to help you unleash your greatness within. My heart goes after the underdogs. That, that's on our way. If you think you can, go from good to great. Okay, let's motivate. Well, I think you have to be able to, you know, uh, have the hearts and the minds, um, the energy and, and willingness of your workforce. Like you have to be inspiring. Um, you have to, you know, communicate. I think being a great communicator is very important. Um, look, I, you know, a lot of people in an organization are tasked with very specific things every single day. And without a bigger, greater purpose that they're working towards, um, they can lose interest. Um, and if they lose interest and move on, maybe your organization is better for it. But if they, if they lose interest and don't move on, then you actually can have some significant structural issues within a company. Uh, so communicating of what we're all working towards, even if somebody feels like maybe their particular, you know, part that they're playing in the story isn't, isn't the grandest, you know, they're not mm -hmm. playing lead guitar, but they are part of the band. And without them, like, we don't, we don't like, we don't, you know, we don't succeed. Right. Uh, so I think like communicating, um, ensuring that like you do have like the hearts, minds, the commitment of your, of your people, and that they all are very aligned around our common goals is, is a big part of it. Um, and I think the, the being in the trenches, showing that you're there when, you know, the fight is on is also very important. Like I, I've certainly encountered a lot of, um, you know, a lot of leaders in other organizations where big things are happening and they're not visible. They're not present. Um, they're not communicating. Um, and you have to wonder the impact that that's going to have on the workforce who's saying if they're, you know, if my leader isn't here when things matter most, like when will they be there? Right. So I've tried to make a point of being very visible, even on what I think, you know, could be some of the smallest things on a day to day basis to know that like I'm there, I care, you know, I, I give a, you know, about what's being worked on at the moment. Right. Um, and I, I think that builds trust um, and, and confidence in your workforce, which is also, I think, important um, component of leadership. Thank you. Thank you for that. You know, I read somewhere that you did not meet with a client because of your young age until 2004 or something like that, that your dad was out there doing a lot of front selling and so forth. I think that's a pretty cool story that you were just so young. You started so young that, wow. Yeah, I, I did go. I mean, I went on some sales calls with my father and, um, but yeah, I did try to avoid um, too much until I was at least 20. Um, and even then, you know, it's risky to go out on a business dinner with a fake ID. Uh, so, but yeah, the first four years, um, I, was, I was hidden in the basement for the, the bulk of the time. Yeah, well, one thing is for sure, you, those first four years, you were in the trenches and long beyond that. So when you say a leader needs to be, you know, just the feeling they need to be, you're involved with them and in the trenches with them to some degree, it's great to see that you've, you, you started off that way. You were there in the beginning. Really great.